Yeah, Destiny, that was the word she used. Not a lot to see here now, just the one maybe piece of tape that just got ripped down, actually. But uh, imagine 50 little yellow markers all over the ground, marking all those shell casings. As you mentioned, more than 50 shots fired here. We were told by that sergeant that uh, people in a car pulled over, opened fire on somebody walking by, and just you know, shot all of those rounds off. And they wound up striking three vehicles that were parked here two apartments as well as a house and then also a JTA bus that happened to be driving through. They told us that there was a driver and six people passengers on that JTA bus. Fortunately, all of them are OK. The only person who was injured was the one that they were actually targeting it was shot in the leg, taken to the hospital, with non life threatening injury. So really fortunate. And the police sergeant mentioned that really fortunate that that was the only injury when you have that many rounds getting fired. I was talking with somebody here who lives here who was on the third floor who said he's glad he lives on the third floor considering that they were you know, so many that were spread out. And then as we were interviewing the police sergeant, we could hear the fireworks from the jumbo shrimp game going off at one to one financial less than a mile away from here. So I asked her her thoughts on having that many people who are about to leave a baseball game and this many shots getting fired so close uh, near it. This was a completely reckless incident of gunfire. We had rounds that were hitting place. There, there were children on a playground. I could hear children laughing when I walked up looking at all the shell casings on the ground. I was just completely reckless and a complete lack of disregard for, for any life in this area. Gotcha. So again, fortunately, just the one injury here. Now, police, she told us that there was a, they, they don't have a description yet of the car or the suspects that they are looking for. In downtown, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News on your side.